this bike right here weighs 820 pounds and believe me it's not too hard to handle Yo, welcome back to another video guys. We got a chilly day out here in dirty Jersey. Low 40s, 42 around there. So not a bad day though, man. I can't complain. Weather lately has been in the 20s and uh, Mother Nature has blessed us with 40 degree weather. Can't believe I just said that. Anyways, we're on the road glide today. Wanted to come out for a little ride because I just I miss being on my bike, man. You know, lately well, with all this uh, 20 degree weather, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it, no, no riding for us here on the East Coast. So it's that, plus a ton of salt down everywhere, which, you know, I don't want my bike getting all crazy corroded, so, yeah. Anyway, so if you're here watching this video, it's because you want to know how easy it is, or if, if it really is easy to ride and handle a Harley Davidson Road Glide. Um, so just really quick before we even dive in deeper into the video This video is going to be for anyone out there who hasn't been on a road glide So for all of you guys who have been on it or have one This video isn't for you so I don't want to hear the, uh, you know, the, the, the comments later So this video is only for people who haven't been on this bike yet and are wondering How is it? Is it easy to ride? Is it easy to handle? Is the bike nimble? And the final question, is this bike really for me, right? So let me tell you, I am on the shorter end as well. So I'm around 5'7", on a good day. I'd be the first to tell you that at first, even before I thought about purchasing this bike, I um, I looked at this bike and, and to me, it was a, a little bit intimidating just because obviously it's, it's a big bike it's a heavy bike at that bike weighs around 820 pounds and then um you know it's you're looking at a big bike and like whoa like that's uh the bike looks intimidating the bike look is you know it looks really heavy i, I don't know if, if i'm gonna be able to handle or be able to ride this bike the way i think i could or the way i ride my low rider s or the way i ride any other smaller bike that i had at that time or you may have right now um and let me tell you, yes, it, it's a heavy, yes, it is still right now. I mean, you're on your feet, you can't really tell. If you had to maneuver around, walking around, yeah, it's a bit difficult to move this bike around, walking around your garage or so. But the minute you, uh, you get the bike going like this, coming in corners, the bike is very, very nimble, man. And you can just tell by just throwing it around and around and around and around and around it feels just like any other bike out there at a 500 weight or 400 weight it really it's it's really easy to ride so don't let the weight of the bike intimidate you now when it comes to high speed maneuvering you know you're you're hitting those really high speeds and you're coming into those corners um the bike handles really well as well um, another reason why this bike in particular here handles well is because I changed out my suspension So if, if you're looking for, for really really good handling Obviously suspension is uh, one of the main things that you should change on your bike because um, I mean right off the bat Harley-Davidson Stock suspension <laughs> isn't that good um, it's Real firm real stiff and it's just you're not gonna enjoy the ride um, But I do have the uh, Screaming Eagle and all the suspension on this bike and I love those things it definitely helps me out with the riding especially when you um want to get down and hard and get into those twisties I mean the, the bike handles great no complaints there the bike definitely uh definitely performs man hence performance bagger even though this is not a performance baggery performance looking bagger at that <laughs> gets up pretty quick she handles great um, despite what you may think about getting in and out of traffic being a big bike I mean I, I do pretty well on it 
Uh, I've been in situations where I, I'm, I'm stuck in traffic or I'm in the city somewhere. And I mean, me, myself, the, the way I ride, I, I maneuver through traffic very well. So, yes, is it easier to maneuver around in uh, highly congested areas with smaller bikes, let's say a Sportster or even a soft out there? Of course, but uh, I mean, I, I find myself doing it very well, just the same if, if I was one on one of those bikes doing it on this I gotta tell you man these these, these heated grips right now they uh they feel amazing <laughs> they got a nice little nice little warm feel to them right now man it's like just perfect what do we got it on we got it on five I think this we could drop it down to like three right now I was getting a little a uh, little hot I gotta tell you, um, and from experience, this comes from a guy who in the garage right now has a 2020 Lowrider S, and I have an 83 FXR, and my uh, 21 Road Glide right here is it's my favorite bike in the garage, just because of just everything, man. The capabilities of the bike in general. And to think that once upon a time, I thought, whoa, like, no, that's, that's too much bike for me. Because that's the thing. The minute you start thinking to yourself, this might be too much bike for me. The bike is gonna be too much for you, man. Get past that. If if you are already on a bike, you can ride this bike. It's it's that easy, man. Very very nimble. Coming in, coming out, turning in. Bike just handles great. This bike also comes equipped with uh, RDRS, so um, it's definitely, definitely a big upgrade. So if you are going to get a Rogue Glide, I, I highly suggest looking for one that has RDRS. Most dealerships order them with them already, um, but it, it definitely helps out in those little slippery, tricky situations where you might think that the back wheel is going to come out of place. The bike adjusts itself and um, prevents you from going down or or even losing traction. Um, so it, it does really good. I highly suggest you looking for a bike with RDRS. Well, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. I just wanna have a little discussion, a little topic for those of you guys who are interested in getting a road glide. Um, go for it, man. Visit your uh, local dealer and uh, throw a leg over her if you're able to take her out do it and um we get off the bike right now give you guys a nice little walk around of it nice pretty little girl right here You got the uh, Screaming Eagle and all the suspension right that I was talking about. I like the way that's exposed in the back. Really nice. That's my uh, 2021 Road Glide Special. My baby. Love it. Anyways, guys, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Drop your thoughts, drop your comments down below. Um, if you guys have any other additional questions about the bike or for you newer riders, like I said, this, this video is for you guys uh, or any of you guys who are, haven't been on a road glad, this is for you. Um, go ahead, drop your, your questions down below and um, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.